there's been uh, some controversy, even outrage, over some of the statements you made here last week regarding women in combat. You indicated that uh, women who put their lives on the line for the country in close proximity to men are uh, courting sexual assault. Some people understood you to be saying that because of this, they're less deserving of protection from violent crime than their male counterparts, particularly because you criticize the Pentagon's sex abuse programs that are put in place to protect them. Uh, would you clarify all this? The military is not a social services operation or a testing ground for gender wars. It is a fighting machine. Yet male troops are now encumbered with the realities of feminist biology. The political correctness infecting the Pentagon has resulted in silly and dishonest fairy tales about female her heroism. The uh, Vietnam Veterans of America group says they are, quote, enraged that you uh, condone criminal acts, they say. A Time Magazine blog said that you were, quote, essentially saying all military men are rapists. Uh, what's your reaction to these type of comments? The niceties of male-female interaction fade in this arena, and any te te scientist will tell you that testosterone rules. If common sense won't be applied to the whole question of women in the forces, consider the escalating incidents of sexual abuse at the three military academies. And if that's not enough, then how about a report released last month by the Pentagon indicating a 64% increase in violent sexual assaults in the Army since 2006? Mm -hmm.